The Court of Appeals has issued a restraining order on a major power supply deal between Meralco and a subsidiary of San Miguel Corporation. However, President Bongo Marcos urges the CA to reconsider its decision, citing its impact on ordinary Filipinos. Shaila Francisco with the big story. The Court of Appeals has issued a temporary restraining order on the power supply agreement between San Miguel Corporation South Premier Power Corporation and Meralco. South Premier generates power while Meralco distributes it. This means that South Premier won't be supplying electricity to Meralco for now. Recall that the Energy Regulatory Commission earlier rejected SMC's petition for a rate hike of 30 cents per kilowatt hour. SMC said it has been losing billions of pesos because of higher global oil prices. The CA, on the other hand, favored South Premier. The appellate court agreed that implementing a power rate hike is the cheaper option, rather than having the contract terminated altogether. The TRO on the power supply deal will be in effect for 60 days. But the Power for People coalition said this is not enough to prevent a possible price hike. Way mm -hmm. beyond that, ang, ang papasanin ng electric consumers, yung bond na yan, Mumu yan. Kung magkakaroon ng mga bagong kontrata, ang kalalabasan talaga niyan ay mahal na klase ng kuryente ang isusupply. The ERC is also worried, noting that the fixed price under the PSA has shielded consumers from volatile prices. As for the parties involved, Meralco said it is now reviewing the TRO to determine its next steps. It may need to source electricity from other sources in the meantime. For its part, SMC Global Power maintained that the ERC had been informed about their plea for a price high, but they said the ERC chose to look the other way. They also assured the ERC that the public would still get the lowest possible rates despite the price high. The company he added that raising the issue to the CA is part of their right to due process. The Energy Department said the Office of the Solicitor General is in contact with the ERC to discuss the matter. Over the weekend, President Bongbong Marcos warned that the PSA suspension could mean higher rates. The president hopes that the CA would reconsider its decision. Shaila Francisco, we are One News. Meanwhile, several power plants were on forced outage earlier today, affecting power supply in Luzon. The Luzon grid was placed on yellow alert status between 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. and then on 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Red alert status was also initially raised from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., but the National Grid Corporation decided to lift this after two power plants went back online before noon. Six power plants went on forced shutdown, while three others were running on reduced capacity. The National Grid Corporation of the Philippines said the plant outages were not part of regular maintenance activities. The NGCP also warns of a possible shortage in power supply next year as demand rises. Here to talk to us about the implications of the power supply deal between Meralco and South Premier Power Corporation, Mr. Jerry Arances of the Power for People Coalition. He's also Executive Director of the Center for Energy, Ecology and Development. Good evening, sir. Welcome to The Big Story. Good evening, uh, Roby and Gretchen uh, and to all the televiewers of Big Story TV5. Yes, sir. Mr. Arances, bottom line po, for our consumers, what does this mean for them? Uh, it only means uh, additional burden, actually, uh, to the electric consumers. Uh, around 7.5 million uh, electric consumers in the Meralco franchise area covering uh, the whole of NCR and Region 3, parts of Region 3 and Region 4 mm. uh, and elsewhere. Um, and it's, it's, um, we have to look at this na the power supply agreement that is being pertained to, uh, while the decision is only for one PSA, uh, the whole argument are against it is, will affect actually mm -hmm. around 1.7 gigawatts. Uh, these are the power supply agreements entered by several uh, companies in 2019 to 2020 um, that uh, kumbaga promotes a uh, fixed price. And these... Uh, these uh, uh, power supply agreements is basically the one shielding right now uh, the electric consumers of Greater Manila area against high exorbitant uh, pra, uh, pra, uh, rate increases, which is felt across the country uh, since the beginning of this year. 
Are those rate increases due to the rising fuel costs? Take us to the situation of our power supply. Um, six power plants shut down today. We have the Luzon Grid and Yellow and Red Alerts. What is uh, causing the problem? Uh, for one, in the last decade, uh, it has been a kumbaga, an ironic case because the Philippines has one of the very first renewable energy law. Uh, but unfortunately, what the previous administrations, especially the Department of Energy, uh, led by the secretaries of the past administrations, uh, prioritized the building of coal-fired power plants. Uh, we are relying around 50%, more than 50% of our electricity based on imported uh, resources. And as, uh, you know, the volatility of prices and, and, and the consideration in terms of phasing out coal globally, coal uh, resources have been on the rise in the last five years. Uh, and in, in the recent times, it has skyrocketed to around 500% increase. So therefore, if you are very reliant on coal, uh, among many other fossil fuel prices, uh, fossil fuel sources, then you will be very susceptible to international shocks. And such is the main reason why there is high prices of electricity nowadays in the Philippines. And one of the key uh, features in this power supply agreement that the CA or the Court of Appeals has TRO is actually, this is one of the few power supply agreements that uh, promotes fixed price, meaning uh, it will not be susceptible to any shocks at all. Uh, kung magtataas man uh, sa international market ang sources coming from coal, uh, gas, and other fossil fuels, it will not affect this power supply agreement. So. It's mainly our dependence on uh, fossil fuel, which are mainly imported, which are now, uh, kumbaga, uh, at the world market, are one of the highest. So this is not just coal. It includes uh, uh, what was natural gas, which is basically fossil gas, uh, diesel, uh, and other bunker fuel-based electricity. Mm. Mr. Aranzas, if you could, I binanggit nyo na nga twice na, you know, it's not just, ultimately, it's not just about this, uh, the deal with SPPC, uh, but it is about the entire uh, concept and arrangement uh, for fixed price arrangements uh, under the uh, uh, um, PS, PSA. Could you talk us through uh, more of that? What exactly does that mean? And ano pa yung ibang mga deals na apektado dito? Should, they, should this decision uh, stand? So in 2019, uh, we were actually in that uh, process, engaging the ERC process, uh, when, uh, the, when San Miguel uh, with Meralco uh, filed their uh, petition for approval of their power supply agreements, which was around one gigawatt. So the lower pung ano to, the lower pung power supply agreement to one uh, Central Luzon, and the other one is uh, a gas plant coming from uh, its Ilihan uh, gas plant uh, in Batangas. Uh, so this is around one one thousand gigawatt. Um, there are another set of five, at least 500, uh, 700 megawatts coming from several other players na pare-parehong straight pricing. And what was curious in 2019 was that uh, we were actually surprised that San Miguel in 20, 2017 was arguing that uh, the consumers need not to worry because under this power supply agreement, we can assure you that there will be uh, no volatility or no price increases at all. Mm. So that was what they were saying in 2019 and 2020. Uh, from the side of the electric consumers, we were we were surprised because uh, uh, electricity coming from coal and electricity coming from natural gas, we know for a fact that it has been rising in the global market. And so we were really surprised of what they were arguing for. Mm. Uh, but eventually, the uh, Energy Regulatory Commission uh, 
kumbaga, decided in their favor to approve the power supply agreement. So it was not mm. the electric consumers, uh, kumbaga, uh, whims uh, of pursuing this uh, power supply agreements. It's San Miguel who actually really pursued for such an arrangement. And okay. it is their business decision. Uh, unfortunately, that business decision now, it turns out that it's not profitable anymore for them. And, and that's why uh, the decision of the ERC uh, basically sided with the electric consumers because it is stipulated in the power supply agreement that there will be no rate increases except for what they call as change in circumstances. And mm. in this case, in the process of promulgation of the ERC, San Miguel wasn't able to uh, kumbaga, um, defend hmm. their argument that there was a change of circumstances. Okay. All right. Maraming maraming salamat po. For your time and insights, we have Sir Jerry Arances of the Power for People Coalition.